Hello and welcome back to Mr. Ryder's Speed Map. And thank you for coming back and keeping in touch with what we're doing here in the classroom. Today we're going to be looking at fractions. Uh, again, uh, last uh, two episodes we talked about adding fractions and subtracting fractions with like and unlike denominators. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing fractions. And quite simply, multiplying fractions is a very, very simple process. So this shouldn't take more than a minute to explain, and then we'll move right into dividing fractions. So follow along. Today, we're multiplying fractions. And for our first example, we'll keep it nice and simple. One half times two thirds. Now you may look at this and you may ask yourself, what what this particular dot here means. And in algebra, in the more advanced stages of mathematics, we replace the typical x or the multiplication sign with this dot. When multiplying these two fractions, it's a very simple, simple process. We go from one numerator to the next numerator, and we multiply those two numbers. And one times two, in this case, will be two. So you put a two in the numerator's place value. We do the exact same repeated step for, num for the denominators, and 2 times 3 is 6. So we'll replace the denominator value with a 6, and our fraction is 2 over 6. Now this is a correct answer, and I wouldn't necessarily mark this wrong if your student put this on a test. But sometimes I'll ask them to reduce this fraction, and it can be reduced. And the way we talk this to the kids in the class is we take a fraction like this, and I ask them, what number goes into 2 that also goes into 6? Now you might be thinking, well, 2 goes into 2, and 2 goes into 6, and, and that would be correct. 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 6 three times. And so this is also a correct answer. Okay, so this is multiplying fractions, and the most difficult part of this is just remembering that this dot here means to multiply, and the second thing is to go from numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. Now we'll move on to dividing fractions. And dividing fractions is quite easy also. It's just one extra added step. Everything pretty much looks the same. Let's say we go with two-thirds divided by one quarter. The only difference in this setup is obviously the division sign. And as I've professed to the students throughout the course of the year, everything is about either opposites in algebra or undoing something. And that's exactly what we want to do here. We want to undo this division. Quite frankly, dividing is difficult, and dividing fractions is even more so. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a multiplication sign. So. I erase it, or I cross it out, and I put a multiplication sign here. If I do that, the only thing I have to remember to do is to take this fraction and flip it. We call this the reciprocal. And we've talked about this in class, so your student should know what a reciprocal is. Let me spell reciprocal, R-E-C-I-P-R-O-C-A-L, the reciprocal. Or it's the inverse. So the inverse of 1 over 4 is 4 over 1. Now, going back to the previous lesson, we know that 2 times 4 is 8. And we know that 3 times 1 is 3. And you may be thinking, but that's not right, Mr. Wright. This is an improper fraction. This doesn't look right. The number on top is bigger. But this is a perfectly acceptable answer. And if your student put this on a test or a quiz, I would accept that as a, as a correct response. So I think what I'll do at this point is I'm, I'm going to leave the lesson at this. We've done multiplying and dividing fractions. In the next lesson, what we'll talk about, perhaps, is changing this answer into a mixed number and also reducing it. So I thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to having you back again soon.